Hello friends, today I am going to show you the uh, SQLite DAO library that I have created. Using uh, this library, we will be able to do uh, all the crude operations and uh, joins on the uh, SQLite database. All this can be uh, done without actually writing any uh, queries. Uh, the all, uh, all the uh, queries will be handled by the library itself. So uh, this library is a sort of a uh, query builder with a uh, more of an object oriented approach. So uh, let's now uh, drive into the details. Before we uh, start let me uh, remind you one thing. The uh, library source code is available on uh, github. Uh, following is the URL from where uh, you can uh, download it. So uh, please download it and set it up at your end. First uh, let's go through the uh, database schema in which uh, we will be doing the uh, crude operations. So as you can see these are our uh, tables. So we have the category, competitor, product, uh, file data and uh, product category tables. So each uh, has the uh, has their uh, fields defined inside that. So so these are our uh, fields and this is the actually this is the uh, uh, schema database schema. Okay. Now uh, let's look at how the uh, database is uh, initialized in our project. I have uh, here the SQLite adapter which extends the uh, SQLite Open Helper. Uh, this is part of the Android framework. Uh, I have uh, defined the DB name and uh, version in this file. Uh, here, uh, as you can see, we have the uh, onCreate method, which will get fired only once when the uh, first time the uh, database is created. We can uh, do all the DB initialization uh, here. So, uh, what I am doing here is first create all the tables and then insert the uh, required data to the uh, to each uh, table. To uh, help with that, uh, I have created an uh, utility class called uh, create table. You uh, just need to uh, pass the table name to the uh, table method and the uh, fields and their attributes to the field method uh, and uh, it will uh, create the table for you. So uh, here is the uh, initialization uh, code. So uh, here we uh, define which all tables to be uh, created at the start. So we have the uh, product, the competitor category, all the tables uh, created. Once the uh, tables are created, uh, I am inserting all the uh, required data to the uh, to each uh, table. Then uh, in our main activity, we call the uh, get writable database method of the uh, escalate helper class which will uh, fire all our initialization code at the start when the uh, DB is not available. Now uh, let's look at the SQLite uh, DAO library. It has uh, got an interface iSQLite DAO where uh, all the methods are uh, defined and uh, it has been uh, implemented by uh, SQLite DAO. Uh, it has got uh, public methods uh, like uh, select, find, uh, insert, uh, update etc to uh, name a few. We will uh, see all these uh, methods in action uh, shortly. Now uh, let's look at how to uh, use the library. Let me uh, first give you a uh, brief on that. First of all, uh, what is a DAO? DAO is a data access object which will uh, correspond to a uh, table. Here the best way is to uh, create our own DAO that extends the uh, SQLite DAO. That way the library methods will be available in our uh, DAO class. Uh, let me uh, show you that. Let's uh, start by creating a package for our uh, data access objects. Uh, so I am creating a package called uh, db.dao. Let's first uh, create the data access object for the uh, product table. The uh, product table will have uh, four fields. Now I am going to add the uh, data access object for the uh, uh, product uh, table. For that I am creating a, a singleton class so that uh, only one instance will be uh, created. So that is the product class and it should extend our uh, SQLite uh, DAO. So that is uh, 
extends uh, escalate uh, DAO. So once it extends, then uh, all the methods of our uh, escalate DA will be uh, integrated in this class. Now uh, we should define the table name uh, which the uh, this DAO is uh, DAO corresponds to. So uh, for that we can uh, override the uh, table name uh, property. So that would be product, and it should correspond to the actual uh, table name in the database. So that is product and uh, we should also override the uh, fields. So we can define uh, which all fields uh, this table uh, uses. So that is uh, fields and the fields property uh, should contain an array of string. So that is string and which will contain an array of uh, field names. So that is uh, title and uh, image, image and uh, detail so these are the uh, four fields that the product table uh, has now uh, let's see how we can uh, fetch data from the uh, product table uh, it is very easy uh, we just need to call the uh, find method available with the uh, DAO base class so uh, that is uh, Product dot uh, get instance will return the uh, instance of the uh, product class, and uh, let's call the uh, find method instead. Of it. So that is product dot find. Uh, so the find will build the uh, query string and uh, then dot execute, and either we can return a cursor or uh, we can return an uh, JSON uh, array. So that would be dot execute dot uh, JSON. So dot execute will uh, execute the uh, query and dot json will uh, return the uh, result as a, a json array so that is let's add that to a variable so let's have uh, a variable json array okay and now uh, let's uh, do a log so uh, that is log dot d and uh, yeah, so now, and, uh, let's check it now. Okay. So let's filter it and see the logs. So uh, click there. Yeah. So the result, as you can see, the result has come. And uh, now let's check with the actual uh, table data. So let's see that. Yeah, the product, uh, all the uh, uh, details has come. So, what find does is it will uh, just fetch all the data from the uh, table. If we want to uh, get only one record, uh, there is the uh, find one method which will return uh, the uh, first record. Uh, let's check it. As you can see, it returns only uh, one record. Back to the uh, find. Now uh, let's see how uh, we can add a uh, where clause. So that is so easy. So uh, we can just add a uh, where to the uh, method. So that would be where, and I'm just uh, adding a where clause that is id equals to. Okay, let's see. Yeah. So product with id uh, 2 has uh, come so this is how we add a uh, where similarly we can add multiple uh, uh, where clause here like this so uh, we can add uh, as many where clause as you wish now uh, let's look at how to do a uh, sort and uh, limit in the uh, queries so uh, let's first start with the uh, sort that is uh, sort and I am uh, sorting with id so we should specify uh, which field to be sorted on and uh, giving the sort by as uh, descending so the uh, last record will come on uh, top so let's check that as you can see the result is sorted by the uh, descending order that is a uh, record with uh, id 3 uh, that is the uh, last record is coming first now uh, let's do a limit in the uh, query that is uh, 
limit and I am giving a limit as uh, 1. So uh, only one record would be fetched. That is the uh, last record. Let's uh, check it. As you can see only uh, one uh, record has been fetched. That is the uh, record with ID uh, 3. That is the last, uh, last record. Now uh, let's check the uh, product DAO. Uh, we had earlier added the uh, fields uh, property here. The uh, fields property is actually not uh, mandatory. So uh, we can uh, remove it and if the uh, fields are not defined, it will fetch all the uh, fields from the uh, corresponding table. So let's uh, remove it and check. As you can see, I had uh, removed the fields property and still uh, it is fetching all the uh, fields. Now uh, what if we want to fetch only uh, specific fields, then uh, we can add the required fields to the uh, fields array and it will uh, fetch only the uh, different fields. Right now uh, I want only the id and the uh, title field, so uh, I am adding only uh, those. So let's see, that's it, you got it right? So uh, that's it for this episode guys. I hope uh, you all enjoyed it. In the uh, next episode I will show you how easy it is to uh, do multiple joins with the uh, SQL DAO library. To see the uh, joins in action please uh, continue to the uh, next episode. If you have any questions please uh, feel free to uh, write to me at uh, srijesh at uh, kriyatma.com. See you all in the uh, next episode. Thank you and bye.